Welcome Pisces to your August Astro Dice reading. This is where we take astrology with tarot and make a horoscope. Okay guys, welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, we have the zodiac dice, the planet die, and the house die. Okay, and let's get rolling. I have Pluto as the planet, Aries as the zodiac, and going straight into the sixth house. Very nice. Okay, so getting out our astrology cards here. Pluto coming up. This is the what? What is it? Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. Very nice. Zodiac card is Aries. This is the how. How is it going to be done? The energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading, impulsive action is likely. Okay. So, going to be a little spontaneous. And going straight into the sixth house. This is the where, the work, health, and duty area of your life. So there looks like there's going to be some kind of transformation. It's going to be spontaneous. Um, I'm really feeling this spontaneousness um, within the work area of your life or the health area of your life during this month of August. Okay, so straight in there, Pisces. Get some tarot on these to clarify. Clarifying straight on the Pluto for that transformation and rebirth. For August. Having the moon popping out, feeling like it is the best time right now. Right now is the perfect timing for you to get this done. It might be a secret plan that you have been thinking about for a long time. Um, and now is time to put this into action. Ace of Cups coming up underneath the Aries. You have this spontaneous idea, this spontaneous um, dream. It could even be like this dream that you've had for a while, going to put this into fruitation, making this work right now is the perfect time to, to really take the action for this, Pisces, um, so that you can get your, uh, your cups refilled. Um, having this renewed new action coming, and this is going to give you a brand new beginning over here with the Ace of Cups. It's a new start, a fresh new start. You could even have the healing coming in um, for the perfect timing. Bringing in some gifts as well. And in the sixth house, having the intuition to know that this is the area you want to go. You also have the health here. So really working on your health if you've um, not been very healthy lately, now is the time for you to start taking the action towards either getting healthy or um, doing a new workout plan to keep yourself um, healthy. You might want to start exercising, um, just really taking action. Um, maybe you're going to start going to the gym, really working on yourself. This really feels like you're working on yourself, getting yourself back to the way you were before. Right, so if you were very active at the gym and then you stopped being active at the gym, now is the time to start that gym workout again. It feels like it with the moon over here, it's something that has been on your mind, something you have been thinking about. Uh, Seven of Cups coming up, you see the options within everything that's going around you. <clears throat> Maybe somebody has said something to you. Maybe you know that there is a new um, special deal to get back to the gym. Um, since it's been, you know, closed, maybe that's why you hadn't gone to the gym was because it was closed. Um, things like that. However it is, you have many options. 
surrounding you and you know it and it's the perfect timing this month to take up those op uh, those opportunities take up those offers from other people to get to work um, if it's a new diet plan uh, it's a good time to start that going straight into areas is the truth it's going to balance you it's very justified um, it has that dynamic feeling, so it's going to really make you feel like you're really um, balancing your yourself out in August, really getting to what is justifiable for yourself. Um, if you, you know, it's like you've been thinking about this, you know the truth is, I really need to do this. I've been thinking about this. And um, right now is the best time. have the queen over here and getting straight back into the sixth house not worrying about it anymore not just sitting around saying um i can't do this and i can't do that feeling like you're all tied up um, getting the worries out of your mind um, all of that's going to dissipate um, especially when you start taking the action you're not going to feel stuck anymore Coming under the Pluto, you do have Pluto itself, which is a Scorpio card, the tower. This is that rebirth, taking that, um, bailing out from one way into a new rebirth, having better inspiration. There's going to be so many inspiring new things that you can do, um, and you're really going to feel inspired to take the action to do so. Um, definitely. And coming up on the tower, you have the King of Cups, definitely getting yourself emotionally balanced. You've already perceived what you want to do. And, and I do believe that for the last couple of months or so, you've already had this um, awareness of what needs to be done. So taking the action in August is the best time to do so. Let me see something really fast here. Yeah. I was just seeing what your sister sign was there. It's a Virgo. But uh, yeah, so I would say definitely between Leo and Virgo season is really going to be a good time to really do this since uh, Virgo is your sister. Okay. Coming up in the areas area, you're going to get this fire strength coming through with with the uh, strength card um, that Aries is really going to pull up that dynamic action that you're going to take. We have two signs of Leo sitting here, so it's really in Leo season for you, Pisces. Um, you're going to get the strength and the courage to do what you know you need to do. Um, no longer feeling, like I said, like you're bound and tied down to any ideas. Really stepping up to the plate over here for whatever this work or health is. <clears throat> and clarifying on, yep, the Six of Pentacles. You could even be doing some community service. Um, if you've been wanting to volunteer your time in community service, this would be a good time to do so. Getting involved um, with other people, helping other people. Maybe you're going to help out at the gym. However it is, it is a good time to not only serve others and help, and here's the serve too with the justice, um, but also serving the better pieces of yourself, giving to yourself. It is time to give back to yourself, Pisces. Okay? It feels to me like you've been giving a lot of attention maybe to somewhere else, to other people, and now is the time to give back to yourself. Queen of Cups coming up on the giving of the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be in a very giving, loyal mood. And so it's, you might even want to um, help others. It's a lot of water. It's a, a lot of your own cards sitting here, Pisces. So you're very in your own energy, feeling very courageous, getting to where you need to be. It's a beautiful month for you, horoscope wise. Um, it looks like you're just really, you know, using your intuition, knowing where you need to go with the Queen of Cups, you know, concentrating on what new plans you need to do that's going to suffice you um, throughout the month. 
being very protective, you might even be helping others and protecting others, being in a very protective mode. Pay attention to your dreams this month. They may, you know, have something really to say to you. Really taking on the leadership role over here for yourself and for others as well. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Uh-oh. Okay, so overall. The overall for this month is really your achievements and satisfactories towards yourself and uh, what makes you happy. Okay, and that was a reading for you. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.